When I went downstairs and I saw the, what had happened to the urn, I was furious. I, I lost it. I just started screaming. The owner of a wine shop in North Portland asking for your help tonight in catching a destructive thief. He's calling the Butter Bandit. Yeah, he says the man stole money, destroyed an urn containing his mother's ashes, and even mashed a stick of butter. Yeah, our Jennifer Dowling live outside the shop with more in this crime alert. Jennifer? Good evening. Well, the shop owner says that the man got in through the back door of the shop just to the right behind me. He tells me that he could have taken the cash and run, but instead he left some other very strange damage behind. I love being passionate about what we offer and to not feel safe in our own neighborhood is crazy. Jeffrey Weisler is still cleaning up at Pairing's Portland wine shop and bar after someone used a rock to shatter doors, a computer and his sense of security. It looked like he had just thrown it at the computer and hit it right in the middle of the screen. Surveillance video at 24th and meatballs across the street show the man breaking in there right after Jeffrey says his wine shop was tossed and vandalized. All this back here was just pulled down. Jeffrey says $150 and a bottle of wine were stolen, but that wasn't the worst of it. He put this screwdriver through my mom's urn and these are ashes of my mom's. Then so we have to figure out what to do with that. <sighs> well, I was really close to my mom. And with our dog passing this week and and um, and then this happening, it was just like, no, that was over the top. Jeffrey says the thief also left a strange calling card on the counter using butter. There was a stick of butter with a spoon in it over here. We're calling him the butter bandit. <laughs> Jeffrey believes the man used the stolen bottle of wine to break into his neighbor's restaurant. You could hear the glass shatter on camera before he climbed in. Security video shows the man in 24th and meatballs checking the fridge. Workers say he stole a can of pop, and minutes later, cameras showed him eating a stolen cookie. Jeffrey hopes someone recognizes him. For now, he's focused on Halloween celebrations. The event this weekend is wines paired to six scary movies. Customers have responded with flowers and support. I am really, 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 really grateful for the response I've gotten. And Jeffrey says that the man looked like he was under the influence of something in the video. Uh, he says if you have any information, he's asking that you call Portland Police and let them know uh, who this thief might be. Back to you in the studio. Jennifer Dowling reporting live. Thank you.